Happy Sunday and welcome to La Gigi's Kitchen. Today I will be sharing with you my delicious crock pot birria recipe. Let's get started. Okay, and the ingredients are two cups of water and then an extra one cup uh, four of your guajillo dried chiles, two of your chile ancho, also dried, and they're very dehydrated, so you can spot them right away. Um, this is two and a half to three pounds of your tri-tip roast. And over here to the right, we have, um, this is half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, each of salt and pepper. This is two cubes of uh, beef, flavoring and the Maggie brand is good too or the Nor. I've used the Nor before and you're gonna need five uh, garlic cloves okay fresh garlic clove half of a little uh, cinnamon and two laurel leaves and these are also in the Mexican aisle and uh, we, right here we have just like a pinch of your ground cloves okay this is all you need a pinch it's very strong and then right here we have a teaspoon of oregano, and this is your Mexican oregano. You can find it. Uh, it's not that hard to find, but sometimes you'll uh, go to a couple of different stores. <laughs> um, and here we have uh, thyme, and this is a teaspoon, a teaspoon of thyme. And this is what, I pulled this out so you could see how the little packages come. This is a good way to buy some spices, and they're very inexpensive when you buy them like this. And then you're also gonna need some oil. I just have olive oil. You're just gonna need like a two uh, tablespoons okay, of so olive oil. Salt and pepper, what we're gonna do is just kinda shake it up really well. And basically, you're just gonna kinda put it on the meat. And remember, this is gonna cook like for six to eight hours. So there's no marinating needed, okay? Just so you know. So what we're gonna do right now with this meat is grab the oil and just put a, a couple of tablespoons of it onto this pan, and basically we're just gonna let it um, sear here for about a minute and a half or two on each side, that's it, before we stick it into the crock pot. All right, so while that's happening there, I have a, a hot pan over here, and what I'm gonna do there is I'm basically just gonna put my chiles, because I want them to roast a little bit, okay? You do not want them to burn, you just want them to kinda get a little bit of that little roasty, toasty, but just not burnt. If they burn, you have to start over. You don't want them to burn. I know they're very dark, but you can see that it's a little toasty, and that's all you need, okay? So I would um, just pull these out for a second, and these need a little bit more, uh, but you don't want to burn them, okay? All right, and coming to my meat over here, you just basically want it to look like that. Just a little bit. And now we're gonna stick it into the crock pot, which is over here to my right. All right, and that's where your two cups of water is gonna go. And your meat. And all the spices, the garlic, all the spices with your beef flavoring, okay? Um, you can put an onion in there. I do like to put a whole onion in there and that's optional, but trust me, all these flavorings are delicious as it is. And um, I do put an onion in there, by the way. So if you want, if you love onions, you can just put one whole small white onion in there. And then here are your chiles. And we're basically gonna put these chiles into this little bowl, or the bigger one, sorry, the bigger one with that cup of water. And we're just gonna let them sit in there. Here are the other two chiles. We're just gonna let it kind of sit in there for like five minutes, that's it. You want them to soften a little and then you can pull all the seeds out and then you stick them into the crock pot. So we'll be what back I in a second. What I do start. is I, I kind of cut them up and then in the water, I just kind of rinse them out and all the seeds come out. Don't touch your eyes at all, please. And I usually have work, uh, kitchen gloves, which I didn't put on and I probably should have. <laughs> but I'm so used to this that it really doesn't bother me. Um, I'm just cutting the tip there and just kind of opening it up. And you can hear how dry they are. 
So the water kind of loosens everything up. And you'll do the same with the other ones. If you have a little bit of seeds, it's not a big deal. See all the seeds left behind? That's what you want. But there's a little bit of seeds, it's not a big deal. Okay, so these <clears throat> are ready. Ooh, ha ha, that's hot. <laughs> these are ready to just throw in the crock pot. And here's my onion, by the way. Um, if you'd like to put an onion in there, it's, it'll just give it a little more of a kick. Okay, and so basically this is exactly what you want to do. Everything's in the crock pot, and then you're just going to forget about it, honestly, um, on low for six to eight hours. Um, I made some the other day, and I think it was closer to eight hours. Uh, the meat, you want it to be tender, and you want it to be able to shred. And we'll be back in several hours. Here, I pulled this out of the crock pot, so it, it did sit there for eight hours. Look how juicy that looks. And you see all the broth here left behind. So we're going to do something with that broth in just a minute. Here we go, let's pull out all the meat. All the meat, all the meat. Okay, get all that meat out of there. Okay, I think that's all the meat. So all the, the broth with all the um, chiles and the other ingredients that are in here, um, we're basically going to, um, well, I'm gonna pull some of these stems out because you could just literally see them. There's only like five of them, so I got them all out. Okay, so now we're gonna put all of this here into the blender, okay, just like that. And just gonna blend this up really quick. All right, so here we have all the mixture and as you can see, it looks delicious and it's creamy and thick and this is what we're going to pour over our meat look at that yum so this is your birria and you can keep this in your crock pot i put it on this uh, dish here so that you could see it you know up close but all of this can just stay in your crock pot and it'll um, stay on warm and you can literally serve your tacos and stuff straight from that crock pot. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix up a taco. Okay, here we go. So basically I'm gonna make a couple of tacos. Look at that, so yummy. Whoa, these are kind of fat, okay. <laughs> okay, so what I do is I just um, squirt a little bit of lime. They're already a little bit spicy, but you can totally add my salsa casera that I have on a previous video and it would be just fine. So let's go ahead and taste my, my birria. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm, the spices are just right. Just a second. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Please share and like all my videos. Please try this at home with your family, especially right now during the holidays. Mmm, it's a delicious treat. It's definitely comfort food, and please enjoy it, and Merry Christmas.